all the spectacle and stuff that kind of went along with the movie, it, it meant nothing if, it, if you didn't care about those characters, you know? So the fact that we had Dylan and, and Keong and Amel and Kaya and, you know, Thomas Brody Sangster and just all these really, really great actors and Will, Will Poulter, I mean, they're the reasons that you kind of connect with the story and care, you know, if anything happens to them. Um, and then after that, it was probably the mystery, you know, the, the whole kind of mystery that just kind of guides you through the movie. It really, um, it keeps you hooked. Yeah, so obviously we got Dylan back as Thomas, you know, our, our hero. He's fantastic. He's probably even better than he was in the first one. He's now, he really kind of owns this character now, and, um, and he's a little bit more complicated. In fact, the whole movie in general at this time is a little bit darker and a little bit more mature. These kids are growing up. Um, and so then we've got, you know, Ki Hong Lee playing Minho. It's fantastic. Thomas Perry Sangster, who's a fan favorite for Newt. You've got Kaya coming back in a much bigger way, actually, than even in the books. And I think she's a very, very important character. And then we've got Fry Pan from Dexter coming back. It really is a joy to kind of work with all these guys. It's, it's, they're just so humble and hardworking. They want to do the best work they possibly can, and they all support each other. I mean, they, are, they even say it themselves. They, they've never been closer to cast members than they ever have. They, 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 they consider themselves brothers and sisters now at this point. You know, they're really best friends, and um, it's fun to be around that. You know, it, it gives a kind of energy and enthusiasm to just the hard days that you have to go through, especially on this movie in particular. It's even harder than the first one. Um, yeah, so it's it's cool, you know. There and and of course we had these new characters coming in, the new castmates coming in, and they fit right in. You know, they just kind of you know just became a part of this little family unit, you know. And it's uh, it's really kind of heartwarming. <laughs> They're not enclosed by walls anymore, so they have a, a full world to go out and explore and understand. So we got the Scorch, obviously, which is you know some part of the world that uh, some metropolis zone that got scorched by the sun flares a long time ago. And now, since almost all living things have kind of been burnt away, what was left behind is the sand that slowly is just creeping up and swallowing these cities, which is a cool kind of visual of these cities being swallowed by sand. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a cool environment. I think they're going to enjoy it, because they're going to see the things that they recognize, um, but, uh, but might be a little bit different. So if they, if they go in knowing it, um, and not trying to compare, wait, that didn't happen, wait, that didn't happen, wait, this, they're going to ruin the experience for themselves. But if they just go in and let it wash over them, I think they're going to enjoy it because it's the same great characters that you fall in love with in the first one you have in this one, except they're going, with some, going through some really great adventure stuff, you know what I mean? A really fun kind of road movie with these characters.